तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंदम भक्तबिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर पांचा कल्पतरु वैश्य के पास सिंधु बच पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखं करोति वाचाल पंगुल हैतगिरी यत्कि पातम हंग बंदी परमानंदमाधव वृंदा वै तुलसी देव वै पिया वै केशव सच भक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीताहम पुनुतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यदपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फोरजीत किमी गोबू शिवदर्शि पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कृपा करो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीता श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनुखा बुदात संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायुताक्ष भीशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो बंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाथारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमामि गंगे <coughs> नमामि गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी नीत भावान सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायणो प्रिय मनंगुमदारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुस्व वदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी जस्ते दे संबी पम निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 
एतादृत्तमानाक्षता भय जगीनापनिर्णित हरिर्नामुकर्तन एकवृत्तमानाक्षता भय जगीनापनिर्णित हरिर्नामुकर्तन गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमंश जगतगुरु सेट दैट वी आर एक्टिंग जस्ट लाइक ए पोस्ट मैन व्हाट एवर मैसेज कमिंग फ्रॉम वैकुंठ जगत दैट वी हैव टेकन रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू डिलीवर यू नथिंग एल्स गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दे We are actually taken the responsibility of uh, postman. We are acting as a postman. Whatever message coming from Aparakita Jagat, that we are going to give deliver to you. We have nothing to do. If there is any good message, that for postman is not responsible. If there is any dangerous message. If there is any dangerous message in the letter, you cannot start fighting with a postman, because postman not responsible for that. Whatever message coming, maybe fearful or very joyful, any message coming is going to deliver you. Pope was speaking. Those who are the messengers of Bhikkhunta Jagat, they are coming here. and aprakita shabda brahma automatically they have their connection with that aprakita jagat like if your antenna connection everything tower you speaking pope was speaking those who are vaikuntha parshad those who are coming from vaikuntha jagat they have their connection with that vaikuntha jagat and automatically all shabda brahma going to appear in their trunk accordingly they are going to give you message they are not making anything new not that they can make some new message and give to you not that unnecessarily common people those who are ignorant they have no idea about aprakita shabda prakita shabda main prabhupad used to say main problem is that the most vital problem as present almost nobody if the figure coming it is almost nil who can understand what is aprakita shabda brahma prakita shabda mahaprabhu never wanted to ask us to practice prakita shabda brahma mahaprabhu never wanted to advise us you can go on practice in prakita shabda brahma a prakita shabda mahaprabhu always wanted to advise us of prakita shabda brahma of always aprakita shabda not prakita shabda but we don't understand that is the main problem we don't understand what is prakita shabda what is aprakita shabda that basic conception we don't have that most basic conception we don't have how to realize this is aprakita shabda brahma how to realize this material shabda how to realize you can see prakit shabda brahma after hearing you cannot feel any reaction you are hearing but after that you are not feeling after hearing prakit shabda brahma material sound in the form of harikatha material sound also can come to you in your ear as harikatha how you can realize material shabda can also come in your life as harikatha but you cannot understand if you cannot understand the difference between that is the most vital point if you cannot understand the what is prakit shabda brahma what is aprakit shabda then very dangerous aprakit shabda brahma you can see aprakit shabda has its direct impact 
effect in the heart, direct impact. After hearing Aprakita Sabda Brahma, you can feel some evolution. I never heard this. What kind of thing he is speaking? What is speaking? I never heard this kind of thing. A new thing I am hearing. Not new thing. You are new. Your conception new. That's why you don't know. Whole life you have not done absolute Sangha. Satsangha you have not done. That's why you think it is new. I am sure about it. You have not done Satsangha. There is some procedure. Bhakti Mitra writing, Bhakti Mitra writing even one article specially. The procedure of how to get Satsangha. Not that I can go and sit in front of Sadhu, I can get Satsangha. Not that. Not that in front of Sadhu and sit. But if you are indifferent, if your mind is absent, this is not Sangha. This is surely not Sangha. Like Gokarnuji Maharaj, like Gokarnuji Maharaj speaking Bhagavad Katha in front of thousands of people. There are uh, only Dhundukari also there, the Petata, the spirit, evil spirit. They are also there. But after the Harikatha is over, Vaikuntha Parshat bringing only one plane, one bhima, one chariot, not many. Then Gokarnaji Maharaj asking, Jay, why you are bringing one, one, one a chariot? There are so many people here in na? So, Ani Tani Bhimanani Na Jukpat Kuto for them. Why you are not bringing all separate chariot for them also? Gokarnaji Maharaj speaking, actually Vaikuntha Barsha speaking, actually they are hearing. They are hearing, but they are not going to digest. They are hearing. Oh, they are sitting, they are hearing, but they are not able to digest that Harikatha. They are unable to assimilate. They are unable to digest or assimilate. That's why I cannot. Those who are hearing Harikatha after that, thinking over and again, what I hear, trying to apply in their own life, they are getting success. Mahaprabhu never requested, or Mahaprabhu never gave us order to go on chanting material lamb. A practice of the Brahma Mahada. Sarvakhan baloite vidinahiyar kishayane ki bhojane kimba jagarane Whole day and night, you sleeping, eating, moving, taking bath. Every time go on chanting Krishna name. No, there is hard and fast rules regarding your, this time is the time for Harinam, no other time you should not do. There is no, sir. all the time. Even Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us the effect of Sadhu Sangha. Even I already told that when Sanatan Goswami request when Sanatan Goswami requesting Mahaprabhu, could you please explain the slok Atma Ramascha Manayo Nirgantya Vyuruk? This slok I heard 18 times in Riska. Then Mahaprabhu speaking where you you uh, you, you cannot uh, concentrate in this point because your mind is unstable. There Mahaprabhu speaking, let me see, let me see in your association, let me see in your association how much, how far I can remember. That is the most vital point. Mahaprabhu saying, let me see in your association how much, how far I can remember. After that, 62 different time explanation, after that, Mahaprabhu was speaking, well, by your pure association, by your pure association, there is wave of, wave, wave coming, one by one wave coming. By your pure association, one by wave coming of my explanation of that sloka. So Mahaprabhu is going to appreciate Sunatan that your pure association, your pure association going me, Going, giving me inspiration to speak more and more. Your association. 
So association is very important. Knowingly, unknowingly, if you are going to do asasanga in the name of satsanga, then you cannot get any result. If you say how, even Mahaprabhu in Navadip Lila, Navadip Lila, the mother-in-law, the mother-in-law of Sivas Pandit. She somehow, how we don't know, she somehow get escape and entering into the bed state. And he wanted, she wanted to see the Sankirtan Ras of Mahaprabhu. Try to point is not, uh, uh, you know, not a useless point, very useful point. Then Mahaprabhu dancing and speaking, today I am not getting enjoyment. What happens? Today I am not getting enjoyment. Sivas, what happened? Nothing happened. Everything okay? No, 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 no. I am not getting enjoyment. Every day I am getting enjoyment of Sankirtan. Today I am not getting enjoyment. You, you check up what is there. Then finally Sivas Pandit discover his mother-in-law inside. Then catch, it, catch her and throw outside. You know. Then that's been. this can prove that Sangha can surely have an impact, reaction in Harikatha Kirtan. If there is pure association, then Harikatha Harikirtan can be very excellent. Impure association, very bad. You cannot, same way, Suklambar Bhamachari wanted to use. He is not, not a bad personality. He is pure. But still Mahaprabhu wanted to chide him. Still Mahaprabhu wanted to chide him. What do you think? You like to see my Sankirtan, Ras? Do you think that you are, you, you are drinking milk, that's why you are qualified? You are drinking milk, so you think you are qualified? You are... You have astuity and finances, you think you are very pure, can see. Even demons, they are also doing astuity and finances. So, result? Even demons also doing astuity and finances. So, what is the ultimate result? Brikasur doing astuity and finances. Ravan, Kumbhakarno, eh? all Hiranyaka, Hiranyaka, all that. But what is the ultimate result? What is the ultimate outcome? That's no. So, our Sukhdev Goswami is going to appreciate Parikhit Maharaj. Sukhdev Goswami is going to appreciate Parikhit Maharaj, his disciple. You are really, your question is really excellent. Your question is really excellent. And that question is so absolute question that why we thinking why this kind of question not coming on behalf of each and every jivas? This is the absolute question. Baryan esate prasno, baryan esate prasno kito leko hito nipaha. Baryan esate prasno krito loko hito nipaha. Atmavit sanmataha pungsam shatabhyadi suchapada. That is the aprakito question. Aprakito question also aprakito sabda brahma. Don't understand. One aprakito question. One aprakito question by Sanatana Gosai Pad. That is also aprakito question. Aprakito question can bring aprakito answer. Aprakito question can bring Aprakito answer from the speaker. Follow. So Sukhdev Goswami is going to glorify. So excellent. Bariyane sote prasno kito loko hito nipaha atmavit sanmataha pungsam sotobha jisudapara. Your question is approved. Your question is fully approved by all atmavit, all atmavit purush. They all approve your question. Atmanisana. And this is the absolute question which can draw the attention of the speaker. I mean my. Sukhdev Goswami is speaking. So now I will have to give answer. After that Sukhdev Goswami is speaking, 
Your question is very good. You like to know the easiest way. Easiest way of bhajan, by the help of which you can get absolute benefit. That is your question. Because man is mortal. Each and everybody, now and then going away from this material world. So could you please speak the easiest way? Then, Sukhdev Goswami told this answer. Etat nibritta mananam michyatam akuto bhayam Joginam nika nirnitam harer nama anukirtanam you can go on doing Harer Nama Anu Kirtana. You see, long ago, Bhagavad discourse took place when? When? Just Bhagavan Sikh is not gone. Bhagavan Sikh is not gone, na? Because Parikhid Mahal is hearing. By that time, Krishna already gone. From this. So then, Sukhdev was giving the absolute answer. That you can go on doing Harer Namanu Kirtanam. What Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us. That is the basic teaching. Satsanga, Sadhu Sange Krishna Nam, Bengali. Sadhu Sange Krishna Nam, Eimatra Chai, Sangsar Jinityar Kono Vastunai. There is a plain Bengali. To Go out of this material clotcher, clotcher, to go out of this bondage of Maya. Very easy. Only sadhu, and you can go on doing Harinam Sankirtan. Sadhu Sange Krishna Nam, Eimatra Chai, Sangsar Jinityar Kuno Vastuna. This is the easiest way. Krishna Nam. Sukhdev also told something. Hare Ramanu Kirtanam. Harer Namanu Kirtanam mean not fancifully, you can take on Kortal or you can go on with. Harer Namanu Kirtanam mean, Harer Namanu Kirtanam mean uninterrupted Kirtan should be there. Because deep philosophy, deep meaning, you never heard. You never heard this thing that our Atma, our Atma, our Atma always like to speak the name of Krishna. Always. Eternally like to speak. But it is now covered up. Now covered up. Covered up now. And also, we in Bhagavad discourse, in the morning time, I can show you that Sukhdev Goswami speaking, if you put the actually discourse going between Krishna and Uddha, whole Bhagavatam spoken by Sukhdev. After that, another session there is Sutradev Goswami speaking. This way you can be in confusion. So don't be in confusion. Now, here we can dis discuss that Bhagavan Sri Krishna is speaking to, to Uddha. Uddha, if you put your two fingers here, to put two finger here, you can put your finger and sit, you can say boom. You can hear one sound which is which is going to speak om om inside. If you put here here, you can try today night. There will be one sound of mm, om going on eternally. Hello? Is a practically, I can so. So, actually, Sukhdev Goswami wanted to speak the same thing. Nam Sankirtan, but Nam Sankirtan doesn't mean some bonded soul can sit and shout, boom, boom, boom. This is not that. Bonded soul sit and no effect. I think they have not gone through any, you know, discussion of Bhakti Mutra Guru. No, otherwise, they are there. One pure sadhu must be there under his guide. Nagar Sankirtan, if you go, I told that day, one sadhu, at least one pure sadhu, should be there. If not, then Nam Sankirtan is there. 
bonded soul, all bonded soul. Try to realize common sense. All bonded soul taking karatal and mizan. All bonded soul. They are playing. Then bonded soul can speak material sound. Common sense. Very common sense. Bonded soul they can speak they what they can speak. They cannot speak Harinam, na. Pure Harinam can appear only when you are out of Maya. Totally out of Maya. Now not come. So bonded soul, in bonded condition, if they are doing Kirtan, what Kirtan? Material Kirtan, material sound. And that material sound can enter into the ear of all material people moving around. Those who are moving around, they can hear material Kirtan. So they are hearing material sound. And those who are doing Kirtan inside them, karma is there, karma contamination. Anartha karma is there. And it is satra, it is written, those who are already having karma, anartha, they, they are speaking harikatha, kirtan, that can contaminate your heart. So I am giving scientific document. No scope to fight with me. You cannot get any scope to fight with me. It, scientific document. Material people, those who are full of anartha, if they are doing kirtan, the material kirtan coming. And those material kirtan, those who are hearing, they can also get contaminated. Like corona disease, you come and spread. That is the document given in Shastra. Avaishnava mukhad geram harikatham ritam sravanam naiva kartapo. Avaishnava mukhad geram harikatham ritam sravanam naiva kartapo. Sarpachishta jathopaya. Padduparani disease in. Avaishnava, those who are not pure Vaishnava, Avaishnava Mukhadgiram, those who are speaking, Harikatha. Though Harikatha is Amrito, but that Amrito now contaminated by their dirty feeling inside. Suppose somebody has karma. Somebody has karma inside. If he is speaking, then the Harikatha becomes contaminated with karma and enter. And you can get contaminated. This sloka speaking. Avaishnava Mukhad Giram Harikatham Ritam Savanam Naiva Kartabha. Not at all. It is the rules. Evo, evo, affirmative. Not at all. So Avaishnava Mukhad Giram Harikatham Ritam Savanam Naiva Kartabha. Sarpachishta Jathapaya. The example you given. Suppose inside your room, in the veranda, you are putting a pot of milk. Milkman coming and giving. You have no information. Somehow some snack already came and put his mouth in the milk. You have no information. You think milkman giving? You going to take? You are boiling, offering to Bhagavan, drinking or dying. Just follow. You have no information. You thought a milkman giving. In the meantime, when snack came and Snack wanted to drink milk from there, you have no information. But from poisonous mouth, already contaminated. There is no complaint, there is no complaint about this point that milk is the ideal food. Everybody knows, those who are educated, everyone. Milk is ideal food. Milk is complete without taking anything by, by years after years. I can live by drinking. Milk. Bhakti Mato is to drink milk only, nothing. Follow? Only milk. But, I, but milk, only one thing shorting, iron is not there. All mineral there, but iron not there. Iron you cannot find in milk. The so milk is a. Anyway, we can get iron through water, also in drinking water. So, milk is ideal food, no question in it. But why then milk is going to kill me? Because unknowingly snack came and this is the reason, touch. Same example in Padapuran giving, Avaishnava mukhad giram harikatham ritam sarvanam naiva kartabhu. No, evo, not at all, it is the rule. Sarpachishto, like the example give, the snack going to drink milk and the residue are going to boil and drink and you die. You cannot complain that milk is very bad. 
Milk is not bad. Milk is okay. But the main point, poison was there. Similarly, those who are speaker speaking, if there is karma, that karma can come out together with Harikatha, contaminated, and your heart become contaminated. Unknowingly, karma can enter, you can feel trouble. Big problem. Also, it is written in Hari Bhakti Vilas. This sloka is also in Hari Bhakti Vilas. Also in Hari Bhakti Vilas, Rupagus, also in Hari Bhakti Vilas, Sanatan Goswami writing. Also in Hari Bhakti Vilas, Sanatan Goswami writing. Abhishnava Mukhopadishtam Mantrena Nirayam Bhajet. Sanatan Goswami writing. Abhishnava Mukhopadishtam Abhishnava Mukhopadishtam Mantrena Nirayam Bhajet. Punascha vidhina grahavet vaishnabhad guru. If you at all have taken mantra from a, from a avaishnab guru, or maybe in the uniform of avaishnab, demon. Suppose you have take, taken mantra from not from a, not from a right, <coughs> not from a right source. Suppose you have taken mantra not from a right source. You have taken mantra, from such a source, which is itself very contaminated. So, Avaishnava Mukhopadishta Mantrena Niram Bhajat. So, Nathan Goswami writing, giving quotation, by hearing that mantra from one Avaishnava, you will have to go to hell. You have to go, you are innocent, you don't know, but still you have to go to hell. Avaishnava Mukhopadishta Mantrena Niram Bhajat. Brajat means Vidhilingo, it's a must. Brajat means Kriyat, Brajat, Basat is when Vidhilingo, affirmative. Nirang, Brajat, you will have to go. And so, if you come to know it is not right source, then again you will have to search for a pure Vaishnava and take that. Again, you will have to take mantra. Or, if there is no such scope, then you will have to get a link through Bhagavad Parampara. Mantra Parampara, absolute no. Anyway, you will have to catch the lotus feet of one pure Vaishnava to follow Bhagavad Parampara, to, to make up the line. The line is breakage, so you turn up, make the line and make up with this one. Follow what I say. There is a ring. Otherwise, there is no... No other way open. Many such shloka there. Jo bhakti, maybe you can become upset by hearing, but you will have to hear. You have done no wrong, but maybe done wrong previous life, otherwise why you are going to accept this kind of guru? It is written in Shastra, in Shastra, Jo bhakti, who is speaking? Jo bhakti onnayeno srinati jo. Jo bhakti onnayeno srinati jo. To ubho brajataha nirayam kalam akshayam. Those who are speaking wrong siddhanta, writing, speaking wrong siddhanta, this sloka, you record it and try to find out. Outside people cannot speak to you. Where if their negative point is, cannot speak. So, Jo Bhakti, who is speaking all rubbish, wrong Siddhanta, misguiding you by speaking all rubbish. And those who are hearing, both of them can go to hell for infinity period. Jo Bhakti Annayana Sinatija To Ubhau Brajataha Nirayam Kalam Akshayam For Akshay Kal. We will have to go to hell. There is no compromise. No compromise with Sadhu Sangha. Be careful. I know you have your sentiment inside heart. Your sentiment is there with you. What I can do with you? Your sentiments you keep with you. I am less interested about that. But you will have to hear this. That your sentiment can kill you. You can spiritually become dead. Dead body. No compromise. No compromise, nothing I told her. Compromise means if I like to compromise with some sahajiya, then I will have to sacrifice something good, I will have to accept some wrong. Otherwise, compromise how? 
reconciliation compromise can be done. Two political party, bilateral discussion going on. They are suggesting something, suggesting them. One pointed decision is not here applicable. Both party can come to a common agreeable point. He is, this country is speaking, okay, okay, mutually agree. That's when this country also going to do some sacrifice. At the same time, that country also going to do some. You are bound to accept something negative, you are going to lose something positive. Otherwise, compromise cannot. That's why I told you yesterday. Compromise can never be done. And especially, especially Jiva Goswami path, especially Jiva Goswami path, as already written in Sandarva. Two types of bhakta you can find. Bhakta, sarago, nirago, divido, parikirtita. Jiva Goswami by writing, two types of speaker you can find. Bhakta, Sarago, Nirago, Divido, Parikirtita. Bhakta means speaker, two types. One kind of speaker only for lap, puja, patishta, what North Motaku wrote na? Orthola, Veya, Se, Brahmiya, Firi, Deshe, Deshe. I am traveling all around different countries of the world to collect money and put. North Motaku wrote. Come on, I am not speaking. 500. Years, 550 years back, or more than that. Orthola, with the expectation of collecting money. Orthola, eya se, bhamya firi deshe deshe. With this expectation to collect money, position, traveling all along. Bhamya firi, this is. So, Jibuku Sempa writing, those who are having some desire for love, puja, patishta, they are very cunning, cunning and clever. With this expectation, their representation, their throwing of speech, all very sweet. Representation is this thing at present, it is the age of advertisement. Even a sadhu, if they, Gaur Kishar Baba, at present everybody knowing. Actually a sadhu need not uh, go for advertisement, but automatically. His name can do. But it will take time, long time. So to, it is one kind of counterbalance. Counterbalance, you know? One type of counterbalance. Somebody mispitching, if you are not going to stop it, somebody, suppose somebody mispitching through internet. Big mispitching. So if there is no going to counter, uh, going to stop it, then what to do? Follow. So somehow at present everybody, though one pure sadhu need no advertisement, nothing. It is not advertisement. It is the scope for common public. Thousands of lakhs of people. It is a question of death. It is the question of life and death. It is the question of life and death. Spiritually they can die. So if pure harikatha like what Bhakti Thakur told, Popa told, if you spread, it is very good. Not that it is bad. They can also take advantage of this technology. Very good. Not that only demon can take advantage of that. So, Jiva Goswami Pahad already wrote in Sandarva, Bhakta Swarago Nirago Divido Parikirtitaha. Speaker, you can find two types of speaker. One kind of speaker having, yes, Jiva Goswami is Sandarbha. Eh, you can, Sandarbha. So, two types of speaker. One speaker having desire for love, puja, patriarchy, very clever. Representation, very sweet, this, that, smile. This way, there. And another speaker, he has no attention for any love puja pati. His harikatha is for the absolute satisfaction of Bhagavan. One speaker speaking harikatha only for the absolute satisfaction of Bhagavan. No desire for pratishta. So he is Trinadavi, like mathematics. Prabhupada told Trinadavi means no desire for. No desire for pratishta. That is called Trinadavi. Actually, meaning. So, 
he can also speak. So, Jiva Goswami was suggesting, so Jiva Goswami was suggesting that you should not allow any such speaker in the Vyasasan. Jiva Goswami was suggesting you should not allow such speaker to sit in the Vyasasan to contaminate this asan. You should not allow. Vyasasan can be decorated by a pure sadhu. If not Parmangso, if not Parmangso, at least Madhya Madhikari. If not Parmangso, at least Madhya Madhikari. Middle Adhikar. Oh, you can allow us. Okay. No contamination there. Okay, not Paramahansa. Actually, Paramahansa, if going to sit in the Vyasa, is very good, more practical. Like Sukhdev Goswami. This is an example. Na? Originally, Sukhdev Goswami, Paramahansa, topmost. And Vyasadev Goswami uh, wanted to put, uh, engage him in Bhagavan also. It's more practical. But still, if they are not available, at least Madhya Madhikari, high level, Madhya Madhikari can see. So, this is the suggestion of Jeeva Goswami Bhatt, which is not at all applicable at present in any society. Practically not applicable. It is in theoretically there. Bhakti Tagore speaking. Bhakti Tagore speaking. Bhakti Tagore speaking. Theoretically everything written. Bhakti Tagore writing in his article. Theoretically everything written, but practically no, nobody is going to apply it. Bhakti Mahatma writing, theoretically everything written, but practically nobody likes to apply it. So any mantra you are hearing wrong, from a wrong source, you have to rectify. Harikatha even hearing, you can go to hell. So how dangerous, how dangerous you see. Pure society, pure devotee, pure Harikatha, pure environment, pure Mahaprasad, so real, so real. Not a matter of joke. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in whole is Nilaj, whole here also. I already give example, here also. Mahaprabhu never wanted to allow any Asasanga. You go through Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Charitamrita everywhere. Always Mahaprabhu were pure Sadhu Sangha. Maybe he is very poor. Notice, maybe he is very poor, very poor. Maybe he is Muslim. Haridas Thakur, Muslim. Took birth. Now he is not Muslim, great devotee. But Mahaprabhu not going to consider this point. Where and where and how he took birth. Mahaprabhu used to give importance to his, to his heart position and condition of heart. This was the many such low caste devotees coming, people coming. So Mahaprabhu watching the heart. So in Navadiv Lila also, in Navadiv Lila, what to speak about Nilachal Lila. Navadiv Lila as a human being doing, an ordinary human being and leading Grihastha life, also in student life. Mahaprabhu never wanted to allow any Asasanga. That's why Prabhupada wanted to say, that day I was speaking, maybe seven days before, that Nityananda Prabhu wanted to open one market of Harinam. I told you, na, seven days later. Mahaprabhu wanted to, and Nityananda Prabhu wanted to open one Nam Hatta, one market of Harinam. And that Harinam, Bhakti Muttaka wanted to identify himself as the sweeper of that Harinam. I mean, Mahaprabhu defending, Mahaprabhu identifying himself as the sweeper of that Namhatta. What does it mean? It means Mahaprabhu, I need, our, our uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur going to defend any contamination cannot allow. Any contamination coming with boon throughout. So now you can. This is actually Namhatta. This is actually Namhatta. Where Nithyanandabhu wanted to give an inspiration to do sell Harinam, Harikatha, by Shraddha. This also. 
wherever pure Harikatha Kirtan can go on, that is Nam Hatta. Where Nam Hatta, their contamination should not, contamination cannot stay also. After hearing this kind of hard, they can go away, cannot hear. After hearing this, automatically like ghost. If ghost is there, if say Hari Hari, Ramna, ghost can become angry and go away. It's an automatic factor. Cannot stand. They cannot bear this kind of absurdity. Everybody has no power to digest this. So, Jiva Goswami was writing this way, but nobody going to obey. Bhakti Mantra writing all in written form, theoretically, there in Shastra, nobody going to apply in their own life. Bhakti Mantra writing. Now, Jibu Saint Bhad, in where everywhere, our, our Mahaprabhu, Siman Mahaprabhu, always wanted to give very, very, very important thing, these two things. One is Sadhu Sangha, Piyo Satsangha, or maybe I, maybe he has some contamination, he was going to surrender like Jagai Madhai. Nitananda Mahaprabhu wanted to deliver them. Nityananda Prabhu wanted to deal with Nityananda Prabhu requesting, your this avatar, Mahaprabhu going to call Sudarshan. Mahaprabhu calling Sudarshan because Jagai Madhai want to break the head of, break the head of Nityananda, blood coming out. Mahaprabhu watching this become like, you know, fire. And to call, going to call Sudarshan, Sudarshan. Then Jagai Madhai watching Sudarshan coming. Ah, to cut throat. Then Nityananda Prabhu is going to catch Prabhu. Prabhu, your this avatar, it is your standing commitment that you cannot catch any wheel, club, nothing. Only Sankirtan. So you cannot. By the request of Nityananda Prabhu, Mahaprabhu is going to stop. After that, Nithan, after that, Jagai Madhai is going to beg for pardon. After that, by the desire of Nityananda, Gauranga Mahapu, changing them totally. Totally changed them. After changing, they became, both of them became great devotees. Both of them. Both of them become great devotees, still requesting Prabhu. How we know that you are going to excuse us? What is the symptom? Then Mahaprabhu speaking, well, you can do one thing. There is two ghat where we can take bath in ghat. Jagai Madai ghat. Uh, Jagai Madai ghat. That during Gaurdham uh, Parikama, we are going there. You can clean, both of you, with boon. Oh, oh, you can clean or ghat. I mean, the, uh, where people are going to take bath, na? ghat. Staircase there, very. You can clean all the place all the time. And anybody going to take bath there, you can pay prostate down the that's why whatever wrong mistake we have done before, please excuse me. Unknowingly, unknowingly done, whatever mistake done, excuse me. Anybody, be it Mataji, small boy, young boy, old man, anybody coming, you can pray prostate down the We have done wrong previously. I have done so many mistakes, please excuse me. All Brahman, Vaishnava, whatever. That seva was given by Mahaprabhu. That whole day and night, it is your duty. You can take some prasadam and reach that place. Reach that place all the time and with boon, clean that God. Clean that God means clean heart. Namata, clean heart. Namata, cleaning means you are cleaning your heart. Cheta darpanam arjanam, bhavo mahadabagni nirvapanam. Se koira vachandika vitaranam vidvavo durjivanam anandan budivardanam patipadam purunamitva swadanam sarvatmas nabanam param vyeta sikhishna sankirtan. So, sikhishna sankirtan is the easiest way through which you can purify yourself. What to speak about purification? You can even get the highest top objectives. That is called Krishna Prema. That Mahaprabhu wanted to show us. Anyway, so even in Gaurdham Lila, there also Mahaprabhu. In Brinda, in Navadiv Lila, Mahap, in Navadiv Lila, Mahaprabhu done all these things. Even agitation, 
against Kaji, 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 the ruler, Muslim ruler. That agitation done by Mahaprabhu process, all objection. In queue, thousands of people in queue with one light, light, light mean that fire glowing, one while there, everybody, and they are running towards the house of Kaji, who is a Muslim ruler, representative of Muslim ruler. So Mahaprabhu, this way by Sankirtan saw. So Mahaprabhu never going to uh, take any wheel, club, anything. One time you want, was about to call, I don't know. This avatar, you can rectify everybody by Harinam Sankirtan. By your Harinam Sankirtan, you can pay fire. So, in Nilacha Leela, you see, by now, we are already here. That Sarva Bhattacharya Jo already delivered. Delivered. So tight bondage, so tight bondage, you cannot understand. Even those who are material people, in the society, those who are material people, they have no idea. Their bondage is there. But Mayavadi, their bondage is more fearful. Pay attention. Those who are material people, they have bondage. All material people, they have all material activities there. They have bondage. But Mayavadi, they, but Mayavadi, but Mayavadi, their bondage is so dangerous. No father can break. Because Mayavadi is the offender unto the lotus feet of Mayavadi is the offender unto the lotus feet of Krishna. Mahaprabhu told. Mahaprabhu told, Mayavadi is the offender unto the lotus feet of Krishna. How? One Brahman, one Brahman in Varanasi. By the way, I speak, I touch this point, then you can understand. In Varanasi, one Brahman, very nice Brahman, he coming to Mahaprabhu to pay pranam, he likes Mahaprabhu, he likes Mahaprabhu. He is speaking, when I meet Mayavadi or Prakasananda, he said, don't go there. Chaitanya, knowing black magic, Chaitanya, he is not Sikhista Chaitanya. He is never, try to point, point out. He, that Brahman speaking, that Prakasananda or his group, never speaking the name of Sikhista Chaitanya. Only speaking, don't go to Chaitanya, don't go to Chaitanya. As a, you know, some magic spell. Don't go there. You can fall down. Don't go there. He is uh, knowing black magic. Anybody going to look Chaitanya, uh, Chaitan, uh, he become under his, you know, control. This way. So, that time, that Brahman was bound to put this question to Mahaprabhu. To support this Siddhanta Vishya. That Brahman asking to Mahaprabhu, Prabhu, I like to know the name. That Brahman, that Brahman, that Brahman, that Brahman asking to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is going to ask Mahaprabhu. What is the reason for why they cannot speak Sri Krishna Chaitanya? Why they are always speaking Chaitanya, Chaitanya, Chaitanya? When that Brahman speaking, whenever, whenever I meet with them, Whenever I meet with them, they only Chaitanya, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. They never speak in Sri Krishna Chaitanya. What is the reason? They cannot speak the full name. Then Mahaprabhu giving answer, this is because they are offender unto the lotus feet of Krishna. That is, Krishna Nam cannot appear. Only Chaitanya, Chaitanya is really, Chaitanya, this name is related with their philosophy. Brahma, Chaitanya, Maya, Jiva. Brahma, Chaitanya, Maya, Jiva, they are usually using this word. That's why Chaitanya is using. They can never speak Krishna. So the bondage of Mayavadi is more and more fearful. So the bondage of Mayavadi, so the bondage of Mayavadi, so the bondage of Mayavadi is so dangerous, fearful, which can never be, you know, Unveiled, covering. So Mahaprabhu now was successful to deliver Sarvamata Jajjo. Mahaprabhu was bound to speak. That is one of the reasons for why I come in Nilachal. 
Mahaprabhu already told. Now, Mahaprabhu changed. He is now devotee, getting the direct keep of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Direct keep of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu now accommodated, already uh, getting accommodation inside Gambira Mandir. And the Leela for which, the Leela for which Mahaprabhu special reason for why Mahaprabhu wanted to take shelter of Gambira Mandir, that is we can discuss after. But now all devotees from all around Bharat Barsha, they started coming. One by one they are coming. Gradually we can discuss this point. One day Mahaprabhu thinking, I like to test Mahaprabhu thinking, I can test Sarvam Bhattacharya Jo how, how much faith he is growing in Bhagavan Guru Vaishnav. I can test him. So Mahaprabhu, very early in the morning, reaching Jagannath temple, they are watching Jagannath and getting some grain prasadam, grain, grain prasadam. And uh, to see everything, then Mahaprabhu taking in his uh, clothes tight and ah, very early in the morning, very early in the morning, before sunrise, Mahaprabhu reaching the house of Sarvamvartya that time Sarvamvartya was about to get up, was not get up. Then by hearing the name Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Sarvamvartya get up. He said, fine Mahaprabhu. Sarvamvartya just get up. After that, he watching Mahaprabhu. Immediately pray pranam. After that, Sarvamvartya Sarva Matajajo, not washing face, not taking bath, nothing. You should remember he is, a, he, was a, he is actually Brahman, actually. Actually, Brahman he was. But no faith in Bhagavan mean? No faith in Bhagavan mean no Brahman. But I am bound to speak because he was from Brahman family. But still, he was Mayavadi. So, Though he was Brahman maintaining all, though he was always maintaining rules and regulation, purity, regarding his prasadam, uh, um, prasadam mayavadi, what prasadam they can do? He was previously mayavadi, but purity he maintained, always. So, Sarvamvatyaja Jo externally taken bath in Brahman, but he was not Brahman, but now Brahman, because now he is Vaishnava. Now he is Vaishnav, no? Vaishnav means Brahman automatically. Within 100 rupees, 50 rupees must be there. Within 100 rupees, 50 rupees automatically there. So, Brahma, uh, Vaishnav means surely Brahman. The Brahmanism is the uh, preliminary qualities. That's why in Bhagavatam it is written that if there is no faith in Vishnu Tattva, if there is no faith in Vishnu Tattva, he cannot be called Brahman. Hello. There is no faith in Vishnu, Vaishnava, then he is not Brahman. Viprat Disaraguna Yutat Aurobindo Navo, Viprat Disaraguna Yutat Aurobindo Navo, Padarabindo Vimukhat, Sapachambaristam. Viprat, one Brahman, having scarred everything, everything there. But no faith in Bhagavan Vishnu, Vishnu Tattva. Then one very low caste man, very low caste. Viprat Disaraguna Yuta Aurobindo Nabo, Padarabindo Vivika Sapacham. Sapach, you know? Sapacham. Sapacham means previously, Sapacham means previously, Shom in Kutta, dog. Swamin kutta, dog, swa, swa poch, mane cook. They used to cook the meat, the flesh of dog, and they used to take. Yes, in Christmas day, if you go through all internet, you can see in Thailand here they are all hanging. Dog, cats, everything, rat, all. They are eating. Suddenly, one man, there is a mass Christmas, you see. All they are buying. Not only mutton, 
everything, dog, cat, everything. According to their choice, they can buy. And especially China. Oh, China, they are going to take, they are going to catch a mouse, putting in the hot water. Ah, okay. China, they are so, anything they can eat. Anything yeah, they can eat. <laughs> this is a condition. So, Sopoch means previously that man used to cook dog. Bharti Maj used to speak one story. Kutta pitha, cake, cake coming out from the belly of dog. Those who are tribals, na? those who are tribals, sometimes they are making big festival. Festival, you are going to distribute cake and patties, everything. You are going to distribute patties, cake, everything. But tribals, Bharti Maharaj used to say, a tribal can do one thing. They can bring one dog from outside. Very nice, healthy dog. They bring it. They are going to allow that dog to eat nice, nice thing. Dog is eating. Dog is eating. After that, all around those tribals, they can beat the dog with stick. Doom, doom, doom. All around. The dog likes to go there, you know, go there, beating. After beating the dog, die. After beating the dog, after beating the dog, going to die. After that, they are going to make the roast. They are going to make the roast of that dog. Totally fireplace, going to put in the fire, roasting. This side, that type. After that, roasting is done. They can bring the dog from fireplace and open the belly and whatever eaten by the dog previously, it become very tasty, cake-cake-like. Kutta pita. It is called pita, cake. Tribals. So, Bharti Maharaj used to say, very nice, is it? Really, tribals, what they are doing, at, you, can, you don't understand. Civilization, they are long away from civilization. Still today, some tribals are there. If they give, find one gentleman, any civilized man, they can kill. You, can, you, you cannot go there. They don't allow any man. Ah, still today. Anyway, so Mahaprabhu going to give Mahaprasadam. You see, Sarvamo not taken bath as yet, not brushing, not anything done. Sarvamo just sitting in the bed and Mahaprabhu coming, oh you, immediately Mahaprabhu going to give the Mahaprasadam dry, grain, grain. Sarvamo Vatajajyo, without thinking anything, taking the prasadam and Mahaprabhu started dancing. Now today I discover you have hundred percent faith in prasadam. Because without blessing, without taking bath, you know from Shastra. That's why Sarvam Vatajaju was Brahman, but still not Brahman. Because it is written in Bhagavatam, Viprat Disharaguna Jutat Aravindu Navo Padaravindu Vimukhat Sapacham Barishtam. If one man previously he used to cook dog flesh, previously, now he is Vaishnava. Previously, now change. So, in Bhagavatam, it is written, it is that fallen, that fallen, I mean, low caste, sapacham. Sapacham means they used to cook dog. They are far better than Brahman if that sapach is speaking Krishna Nam. If the sapach, the loka previously used to take dog flesh, but now not. Now is like Guhok Chandal. I can give example Guhok Chandal from Raman. He was Chandal. He was Chandal. But Ramchandra used to accept him as a friend. Guhok Chandal. He actually Chandal, very locust. But Ma Ramchandra made one friendship with him, embrace him, follow this way. So, Sarvam Bhattacharya, previously, 
he was Brahman, but still not Brahman. Because he had no faith in Mahaprasadam, Vaishnava, Vishnu, Guru, Vaishnava, no faith. Nothing, no faith. But now, Mahapu started dancing, Mahapu speaking, you are developing 100% faith in Mahaprasadam. Today, you are developing 100% faith in Mahaprasadam, so I conquered the heaven. Mahapu speaking. It is in Shastra, it is written, Mahaprasad anywhere, anywhere, anybody giving. If you get Mahaprasad of Jagannath, immediately you have to take. But surely not on Ekadushi day. Somebody can say Ekadushi day. Somebody can say Ekadushi day. So in Puri, somebody, some Sahaja group are there in Puri. They are saying Ekadushi is not uh, applicable here. By the by, this question I should give answer because I cannot remember. There is a big group there. They all believe that Akadoshi is not applicable here. Because Akadoshi is in a bonded condition. Here Akadoshi is not applicable because it is Jagan. Because Akadoshi is not applicable in Nilachal, Puri. Big group, still today. Still today, many Panda, many devotees, they believe that 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 here Mahaprasad is available. Jagannath every day taking. Jagannath every day taking. So Jagannath every day taking. We should also take Mahaprasad. We can honor. We should not observe Akadushi. Misconception. Still today, thousands of people, thousands of such followers are there. They believe Akadushi is not applicable in Purushottam Dham. But what Mahaprabhu, I told now, each and every activities of Mahaprabhu is for our teachings. Each and every activities of Mahaprabhu is for our teaching. So, when this kind of misconception going on, in the meantime, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu just come, na? maybe, Mahaprabhu just now accommodated in the Gambira Mandir, uh, you know, Delivered, he was successful to deliver Sarbhama this one. Now, some devotee coming and giving Mahaprasadam to Mahaprabhu. Prabhu, you take Mahaprasadam. That was particular, that was Akadushi day. That was particular Akadushi day. So, Mahaprabhu uh, going to keep this Mahaprasadam aside. Mahaprabhu going to keep this Mahaprasadam aside and going to honor this Mahaprasadam this way. Taking Mahaprasadam. Paying Pranam, Mahaprasad is Chinmay, but going to ask his seva, put it aside. Tomorrow morning, when we can break our, tomorrow morning when we can break our Ekadusi, then we can take. So by this teaching, they should understand Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord, Paratpar Kileshwar. He cannot make any mistake. Mahaprabhu is going to honor the Mahaprasad, to honor, respect. After that, they are going to keep aside because Mahaprabhu is speaking, tomorrow when we can break our, tomorrow when we can break our, tomorrow when we can break our Ekadoshi, then we can take Prasadam. Jagadananda Pandit writing all in details, Jagadananda Pandit writing all in details in Jagadananda Pembi Varto. Jagadananda Pandit writing all in details about this fact. Not that everything you can find in Chaitanya Bhagavatam, so many books are there. Eh? So, Jagadananda Pandit writing all in details. This is the teachings of Sriman Mahaprabhu. This is the teachings of Sriman Mahaprabhu. This way, Mahaprabhu started staying in Gambira Mandir. All the, Mahaprabhu is one kind of magnet. Devotee is one kind of magnet. When Prabhupada is there, Prabhupada is not going anywhere. Anywhere means preaching for preaching going, not going to pull. Yeah, automatically. Guru Mahaj is not going, Siddhar Mahaj, all thousands of devotees. 
like magnet. They are like magnet. So all devotees started uh, coming near Mahaprabhu, and with them one very important uh, Siddhanta Vishal. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Mahaprabhu used to do sankirtan with his own own group. Any outsider, useless people, material. Very special point. Mahaprabhu used to do Sankirtan, everything, be, be it in Navadivdvam or be it in Nilachal, inside Jagannath Mandir, all with his own devotees. So it is written, Antoranga Loya Kare Rasa Sadhan, it is written in Chaitanya Chaitan. Bohiranga Loya Kare Nam Sankirtan. With Bahir. Eh? Oh, those who are very close, those who are very, very close with them, like Rai Ramananda, Sarukdamadar, with them Mahaprabhu used to, used to take the test of, of Prakita Rasa. Follow. This I can explain someday. Mahaprabhu used to take that of Prakita Rasa, not openly. Very important. Mahaprabhu never wanted to take the rasa, prakita rasa, test of rasa, only with Sarvadamadar and Raya Raman. But with, but with other, his own group is doing Sankirtan, Nam Sankirtan. Bahiranga means they are not outsider. Bahiranga means those who are very close, like Raya Raman and Sarvadamadar, with them Mahaprabhu used to do ras asadan. Because they have their own sarubna. They have their own sarubna. Mahaprabhu coming with Radha Bhav. Mahaprabhu coming with Radha Bhav. Radha Bhav, na? With Radha Bhav stealing. So surely Mahaprabhu cannot uh, express this mood in front of Adhaitu Gosai. Cannot express that. So don't take it that way. They are all close, but according to rasa vichar, according to rasa vichar, what is the condition of Mahaprabhu? According to that, Mahaprabhu used to uh, hear rasa tattva exchange, crying, all with, with his Rai Ramanu, Sarvadama, everything. Even not Govinda. Govinda is there. Govinda is less interest. Govinda is busy with the seva. Uh, always, Taking the test of this rasa with you know, Rai Ramanan Sarvdhamadar and those who are other devotees with them used to do Nam Sankirtan. Nam Sankirtan. Among them, many such devotees like Bhakteshwar Pandita, they are also very close. They are also, they have some saru. Like Sivananda Singh, Champak Lata Manjari. So they are not actually Mahaprabhu used to do, but very confidential, very confidential matter, even to, because to teach us. Even when Mahaprabhu somehow, somehow Mahaprabhu expressing bhava, somehow Mahaprabhu going to express some bhava, astrosatik bhava. If there is some outsider, if there is some outsider, Mahaprabhu immediately used to check himself. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Whenever any outsider, Mahaprabhu is going to burst into tears, going to, immediately some outsider, immediately going to check himself. This was the rules. So not that everywhere, every rasa, every time, same conduct, each and every activities of Siman Mahaprabhu. I can go on speaking. You can go mad. How Mahaprabhu is going to check here? Everything. So, this way, if you go and try to realize all scrutiny you will have to do, all the activities of Sriman Mahaprabhu, then Nilachal, all different kind of Leela, all his activities, all for our exclusive teachings, absolute teachings. Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us by doing Acharan. So it is written there, Aponi achari dharma lokere sikhai. You memorize it in Bengali. Though Bengali, I think you memorize. No. Aponi achari dharma lokere sikhai. 
apanina acharine dharma sikhano na jaye mahaprabhu speaking before coming i am going to uh, i am going to show i am going to show how to practice i, I myself i have to do ekadashi everything devotional i myself can i myself can show then other people can learn that is the application of all devotional practice uh, in our gorio gorio devotional field all you can find all in details in the activities of shivan mahap all everything in total about mahaprasad about etiquette vaishnava etiquette about hearing hari katha about avoiding asasanga about uh, how to uh, allow, allow kipa to prasad rudh material man All balance, so nice. Anyway, from tomorrow I can go on discussing today. Etad nibritta mana nam michata makuto bhayam jogi nam nipanirnitam harir nama nu kirtanam vancha kalpaturushe ke pasindh pati tanang pavane ko Vishnu bhiyon.